Hey friends, what's up? Today we're going over a sixth grade standard solving and graphing one step inequalities. So first things first, you're going to see some symbols. We know that this little alligator means greater than and less than. And if it has the line underneath, that means it greater than, less than, or equal to. When we are graphing, this is going to be very important. So when we're graphing inequalities, you might see just the typical greater than, less than symbol. If it is this, our graphing dot will be open. That means that this does not include the number we are talking about. So for example, if I say I'm looking for a number that is greater than five, that dot is going to be open on top of the five because it does not include the five. However, if I'm looking for a number that is greater than or equal to five, the dot on top of the five will be closed. That means that this number is included in the inequality. All right, let's get into some actual problems. If I have the inequality X is less than or equal to Five. I'm going to make my graph. I'm going to put five somewhere near the middle. And then I'm going to go into plotting. So I see that this has a line underneath, which means my dot is going to be closed. And then if I wanted to make this an arrow, pink, pink, it's going that direction. So I'm going to make my arrow go this direction. That way all the numbers on this side are going to be able to fit into X. That means if I said X was two, that would work. If I said X was three or four, that would also work. If I said it was a negative number, that would work because it is less than five. Now, what do we do if I have something connected to our variable? D minus 13 is greater than or equal to 22. I need to get this variable by itself, so I'm going to go ahead and do the inverse operation. So instead of minus 13, I'm going to plus 13, which cancels this side out. But what I do to one side, I must do to the other. Here we go. So now I'm going to bring down the D and I keep my symbol the same. And now I solve for my new problem. So what is three plus two? That is five. One plus two is three. So this is my new equation. To graph that, I have my continuous line. My number here is 35. So I'm gonna write that somewhere near the middle. Okay, and then I'll add a 36 on this side, 34, and again, these numbers just continue. So, finger in a 35, I look at my symbol. My symbol shows that it'll be pointing that way, and it is an equal to, so that means my dot is going to be closed. Now, if I were to make this an arrow, the arrow would point to the higher number, so I'm going to make my arrow go this direction. There we go, we just graphed our inequality. Let's do another one, multiplication and division. If I have 25t is less than or equal to 100. So the number and the variable are connected, meaning it's multiplication. So I need to do the inverse operation, which is division. So I'm going to divide by 25. What you do to one side, you must do to the other. So this crosses out, leaving me with still the t and my symbol, but I need my new number. 25 goes into 100 four times. That's my new inequality. Let's graph. In the middle, I'm going to put my four, meaning this can be five and this would be three. I look at my symbol. It does have an equal to, meaning it will be closed. Now, if I look at my symbol and I were to make this an arrow, which way is it pointing? Smaller numbers. So that means I can plug in a three. This would work. I could plug in a two, I could plug in a negative three, that would also work. I can also plug in this four because it is also equal to, and that will work. That's why our dot is closed, meaning that the four is also included. If I have r over nine is greater than eight. Now, this looks like a fraction, but really it's just division. So I'm gonna go ahead and multiply by nine. And what I do to one side, I must do to the other. So now I have R, same symbol, but I need my new number. So eight times nine, that is 72. Let's go ahead and graph. I'm gonna put my 72 towards the middle. I can add some more on the outside. Now, I look at my symbol. I see my symbol does not have a line under it, so my dot is going to be open. Now, if I were to turn this into an arrow, it is going to the larger number, so that is where we will go. I can pick any number that is greater than 72 to plug into R and this will be true. I could choose 73, I can choose 84. Plugging that into R, that inequality will remain true. 
Alrighty, and that's it for solving and graphing inequalities. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.